May we talk about May? Hello, language enthusiasts. Today we're diving into the vast ocean of modal verbs. Specifically, we're going to focus on one that's often used but equally often misunderstood. Today we're talking about the word may. It's an interesting word because it's used to express both possibility and permission. So buckle up and let's explore the marvelous world of may. The modal verb may is commonly used to indicate possibility. It suggests that something could happen, but it's not certain. For instance, it may rain later. She may not come to the party. In these sentences, may is expressing an uncertain future event. It's important to note that it doesn't guarantee the event. It only implies that the event is a possibility. Now, let's look at may in another context, that is, for asking or giving permission. When used this way, may is a polite way of asking for or giving permission. For example, may I use your phone? You may leave early if you wish. In the first sentence, may is used to ask for permission. In the second sentence, may is granting permission. This usage is particularly common in formal contexts. Remember, using may in this way adds a level of respect and politeness to your requests or grants of permission. Now, you might be wondering, how is may different from other modal verbs? That's a great question. When we compare may with similar modal verbs like can or could, we find that may is often used in a more formal context. May I take a leave tomorrow? Is more formal than can I take a leave tomorrow? The weather may be hot tomorrow. Often implies a lesser degree of certainty than the weather will be hot tomorrow. And that wraps up our deep dive into the world of may. Remember, may is a versatile modal verb used to express both possibility and permission. And it tends to make your language sound more formal and respectful. We hope this video helps you understand and use may more effectively in your English communication. As always, practice makes perfect, so try using may in your daily conversations and writings. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.